we are going to get into it today with our daily tarot reading and see what spirit wants us to know. Um, if you are interested in a in an extended reading at the end of the video, the link is in the description box for my Patreon. That is only available for Patreon members. Um, but for the rest of y'all, we're going to go ahead and get into it. So, ooh, we've got the page of wands, which I pulled last time. And it's interesting. I remember talking about someone wanting to come towards you with a message. And wands has a lot to do with communication. And I tend to think of the page as a messenger. So someone wants to come towards you here with a message. And let's see what we've got here. We've got, ooh, page of blades. So yeah, I, so I was picking up on this, on this energy in a different reading. I think it was a personal reading, you know, we're not going to get into all the, all the details if it was a personal reading, but I will say that, um, I was picking up on somebody, somebody here who really like, they get you, you know, um, this person, they really like, they understand you in a way that other people don't, um, you know, it's funny, this baby's breath here, like I was telling my friend this, I, I assume that's what this flower, I don't know if that's what the flower is, but that's what it looks like. And it and it made me think of like, I literally had a conversation with my friend this morning about baby's breath and that's probably why I associated it with it. But I made a joke from my name is Earl. Um, and some people will get it and some people won't, but you know, there's a part where Randy's Randy, he's Earl's little brother. He says something about, you know, you fill in the fill in the empty spots with the baby's breath because it, it fills in the empty space with neutral color. <laughs> and I like I like made a joke about it to my friend because she was showing me this cute little bouquet and you know, my, my twin sister absolutely would have gotten that joke, but not a lot of other people would. And I think I had to explain it to my friend to be sure <laughs> that I just didn't sound like a crazy person, you know. Um but yeah, like there's somebody here who just like, they get you in a way that nobody else does. You don't have to explain your stupid jokes. Um, but I just pulled this um, nine of rods, which, which is wants, which is communication. So I'm sensing that y'all like aren't in communication right now. Like there's been a block in communication for some reason, like y'all aren't talking, but um <sighs> I just pulled death. I just pulled the death card. Um, but yeah, like they want that to come to an end. Literally, they want this connection, like as you know it, to die so that a new one can be reborn, like a new beginning can be reborn. And yeah, I just pulled the Hierophant. So you know how this person feels about you. You know how they feel about you. You know, um, like you know what they want. You know what they want in this new beginning because you want the same thing is what I'm sensing. And when I see the Hierophant, I tend to think of like, you know, people are talking about it in a way that it, it makes you feel discouraged because people are going to talk no matter what. Like when I see the Hierophant, I tend to think of like Galileo, how he, you know, he looked up at the stars and he knew that the earth wasn't the center of the universe, you know, and he had indisputable ed evidence of that. But like convincing the church otherwise was like a whole different story. And it is because people believe what they want to believe. Um, so other people have like notions about what's possible in this connection. And when you talk to other people about it, like you, you end up feeling discouraged and you end up feeling like, you know, this isn't a possibility for you. So you kind of close your, your mind and you kind of close your heart to it. So you, oh, I grabbed two here. So, oh look, yeah, the hermit. Yeah, you kind of like, you chose yourself. You kind of chose to be by yourself and not um, explore this connection with this person because there was some pain in the past here with this page of blades. Like there, you know, there's a reason y'all aren't, aren't talking. There's a reason y'all aren't in communication right now. Um, and I think it's because you chose to kind of um, pick yourself because they were giving to someone else here with this three of elixirs. That's like a three of cups. Um, I think they were given to somebody else or even if they weren't giving to somebody else, they weren't making time for you. They weren't giving to you as much as you were giving to them here. And it's unfortunate because 
you know, they wish that they had done differently. They're living with regret now with this page of blaze is what I'm sensing. And they want to come towards you and tell you that they regret the choice that they made. Maybe it was the choice that they made to be single, you know, instead of give to you here with this, with this hermit and the, in the elixirs. So, you know, take that how it resonates. Yeah. King of blades. This person hurt you. This divine masculine I'm sensing for a lot of you, they hurt you. Um, and they caused the separation here. Definitely. So that's confirmation. Let's see what else spirit wants us to know here. We're going to pull a couple more cards and then we're going to get into it. Literally two cards. Let's see. Two of blades and the knight of elixirs. So yeah, the knight, I, I mean, the knight isn't necessarily a messenger, but it's someone who, who goes forward, forward action, forward movement. They're coming towards you to tell you how they feel here with the knight of elixirs, because that's the knight of cups. That means that they have feelings for you and they want to express that to you. And they, they want to apologize for hurting you in the past because when they hurt you, they only hurt themselves here. So the hurt that you're feeling, they're feeling it as well here. That's what the, the two of, of blades is a confirmation of that. Um, and yeah, for the extended, you know where to go. Um, if you want a personal reading, that is also going to be in the description box. Shoot me an email and we can book a personal reading for you. Um, and, you know, I'm also going to start working on, we're going to do a weekly discussion topic that's going to come out on Sundays so that I can just respond to them that following Monday. And we're just going to talk about stuff. We're going to talk about stuff that is going on in astrology. We're going to talk about like eclipse season if we want. We can we can talk about whatever you want. Like if y'all want to suggest a topic, um, you know, I'm open to that as well because I know you girls going to start running out of ideas soon. But right now I've got a lot and I'm it's something that I'm excited to do because I really am craving like just more interaction with y'all. I really want to get to know y'all. And I kind of think that if I did like, you know, discussion topics or, or polls and things, like I talked about doing a poll in the past and then I never did because I forgot about it until pretty much now. So um, we're going to do that. And I'm, I'm excited to see how it goes. So thank y'all so much for tuning in. We're going to get back at it again tomorrow for our daily readings. And if you're if you're interested in the extended, it's down below. So thanks so much for tuning in and I hope you all have a lovely day. Uh, don't be afraid to subscribe if you dig my vibe and want to become part of the tribe.